Hi everyone, today I would like to talk with you about something that children learn in one of my program called uh, Mind Power. What I will talk about today, I never knew about before until I became a wisdom coach for children. And my opinion it is that most of us are not aware of this. Most of us don't know about what I'm going to share with you in this video. So. Today, I would like to talk with you about something in our mind called Recticular Activating System or RAS. I hope with this video, um, you can better understand how this part of our mind works and to help you achieve your dreams, to help you and use it more effectively and not just you, um, to help your children as well. But first of all, let me welcome you to Growing Resiliency Kids. My name is Anna and I help children learn how to believe more in themselves, how to move through fear, how to step outside their comfort zone and do the things that makes them happy, chase their dreams and reach their fullest potential. Now, let's begin. First of all, we need to understand what it is Recticular Activating System. A Recticular Activating System, it is part of our brain and it plays a huge role in our ability to achieve our goals, to achieve our dreams, to reach our uh, fullest potential in life. Recticular activating system, it is an automatic mechanism in our brain that uh, brings relevant information to our attention. Recticular activating system, it is like um, our own radar our personal radar, looking for the things we need to know, the things we want to know, the things that we are focused on. Um, we can use this uh, reticular activating system to help us shift limiting beliefs. So this way we can achieve our uh, goals, our dreams. Reticular activating system, it is like a filter. It is like a filter between our conscious mind and our subconscious mind. It uh, takes instruction from our conscious mind and passes down to our subconscious mind. If you want to know more how our con conscious mind works, our subconscious mind works, please check my other videos because I have uh, videos where I explain about these two parts of uh, our mind and how they influence our lives. Now, to make it more easy for you to understand how um, this reticular activating system, how this radar works, I'm going to share with you some uh, examples. First of all, I would like to ask you a question. Have you had the experience of buying a car and then all of a sudden you start seeing the same car everywhere? Maybe your neighbor has one or maybe you see it now all over on the streets, or maybe you are noticing while you are watching a movie. Please write me yes if this happened to you. It doesn't have to be a car. Maybe it is something that you bought and then you started to see it more often. It doesn't even have to be something uh, I'm going to share you, with you my example. Uh, when I uh, was pregnant the first time with my first child, I start to notice a lot of pregnant, pregnant women, which before I never noticed them. How come? Why I haven't seen them before? Or why you haven't seen that car before so often? It's not that it didn't exist before, because it did, right? but we didn't notice. But now we are noticing because our RAS, our radar, our acti um, reticular activated system has distinguished it as it is something important to us. To make it more easy to understand, I will ask you to do an exercise with me. Imagine that you are in airport waiting for your flight or maybe you are walking there in the airport. Think of all that noise. There are hundreds of people uh, talking. There is music, 
there is that machine that people that always make those uh, announcements. Well, how much of that noise is brought to your attention? Not a lot, right? Yes, you can hear all that noise, all that background noise. But many of us don't bother to listen to each individual sound, right? But when a new announcement comes over to the public, or you hear your name, or you hear uh, your flight, suddenly your attention is full on, right? Write me if this is something that happened to you. Let's take another example. Imagine you are at a um, noisy football stadium watching a game. And suddenly you hear your name. What happens? Then you start to look who is calling your name. It is your RAS that alerts you to pay attention. Because our RAS takes, um, brings to us uh, information that are relevant to what we focus on. Also, uh, this reticular activating system uh, reinforces our beliefs. So, for example, if you believe that your boss is not a nice person, right? Uh, then your uh, RAS, your radar will notice any time when your boss acts uh, not very nice. You probably won't see, you won't notice the times when he is kind. And this happens because it doesn't fit with your beliefs about your boss. You, you believe that he never was a nice person and he will never be a nice person. That's why you can't notice when he is actually nice. Our reticular activating system only pulls information relevant to our beliefs. If you want to know more about beliefs, how they affect or how they influence um, uh, our lives, then please check my other videos as well. Now, how our brain knows what we want and what we don't want? We tell it. We tell it, right? So, to program our RAS, to help us to change, to help us to achieve our dreams, to reach that level that we want. We need to tell to our us what to look for. Listen carefully to what I just said. Tell what we want, not what we don't want or what we are afraid of. To program our um, radar, our reticular activating system, there are some tools that everyone can use. And uh, those tools are visualization, uh, visualizations, affirmations, or writing down your dreams, your goals. Why visualization and affirmations? Well, because reticular activating system can distinguish uh, between what is real and what is not real. In other words, he tends to believe whatever message you are sending, you are giving it. So by stating what you want, you program your radar to keep it um, for you, to bring into your attention the things that you want. How visualization can help you? Well, imagine that you are about to give a speech. You can practice a few weeks before uh, giving that speech by visualizing it into your mind. And this practice should improve your ability to give that speech with more confidence. So what we need to do is to create a very specific picture of what we want, of our dream, of our goal, with our conscious mind, using our thinking mind. Then the RAS will pass this uh, wish this uh, dream into our subconscious mind, which then will help us achieve the goal. It starts to bring to our attention relevant uh, information. How? Well, probably you can, um, uh, you can meet someone on the streets and while you are talking, you can hear an idea that is going to help you in your dream. Or maybe you can hear about someone that is doing what you are wanting to, you want to do. Or maybe you are watching a video and you hear or see something that is going to help you. Or maybe you read somewhere something that is going to help you. 
Now, I would like to ask you something. I don't know, actually, if you ever heard of these words. What do you think about a lot it will bring about? So, what this means? If you think you can't, if you think you are not confident, if you think you are not smart enough, if you think that uh, is not possible, then the change it won't happen. Nothing will happen. Your dream, it won't come true. To make it more simple, let's imagine that our mind it is a garden. Yeah? So if you put fear, if you plant uh, self-doubt, if you plant uh, insecurities, if you plant feelings of inferiority, it will grow more fear, more self-doubt, more insecurities. But if you plant, if you put seeds of faith, of uh, confidence, then you will have different results. Or let's say you have a garden, right? And you put nothing into your garden to grow. Then, of course, you, you won't get anything in return. What this means? It means that we can't expect our lives to change, our dreams to become true without doing something. As you can notice, everything it is in our hands. We have the power to choose. We have the power to choose what to put into our mind and what to focus on. So if you want something, if you want the change in your life, all you need to do is, first of all, to know exactly what you want. Second, program um, the reticular activating system with visualization, affirmation, and writing down. And of course, take action. Actually, I just remember now, I forgot to tell you about another um, way to program our um, RAS. And probably you heard of, uh, about this. Uh, you heard that you have to make a vision board and keep it in your room and watch every single day. Well, that's why we make that um, vision board. But today I would like to share with you another method that uh, you can have it everywhere, uh, anytime. You don't have to carry that vision board with you. Now, I would like you to make a picture with your dream, with your goal, and put it on your phone, on your screen. So every time you will open your phone, you will see it. Now imagine how many times you will remind to your reticular activated system to look for information that you need. We spend a lot of time on this uh, technology, right? And on these phones. So if you check your phone a uh, hundred times a day, a hundred times you will put the information into your mind, into your ass to look for what you need. Now, knowing all about this powerful part of our brain, we parents should be more careful of what we plant into our children's minds. We need to look and plant more of faith, love, respect, self-respect, confidence, and avoid putting uh, fear, uh, judgment, criticism, and all the rest of negative uh, things. Don't forget that what you think about, you bring about. I hope this video was helpful to you. And don't forget, if you want to understand more how our mind works, if you want to learn more about the conscious mind, subconscious mind, how beliefs affect our lives, then check my other uh, videos. And if you like this video, please share it. Maybe other people uh, will, uh, it will, help, will be helpful for other people. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Bye.